and you can see yellow weather warnings for rain and ice. This is crazy. I'm not even joking. I've got a hold the steering wheel with two hands. The wind is insane. Like it's crazy, crazy. I have not seen Scotland like this in a long time. This is mad. The rain is coming down really heavy. So we have Met Office yellow warnings in place for the rainfall. Now let's look at the winds because they will be lively once more. Those weather fronts move through. There's the storm system heading to the north of Scotland, but it gusts of 50, 60 miles an hour, some places 70 miles an hour. And really it's higher parts of Scotland that will be affected by the end of Friday. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I've just come in out of the rain. Yes, you guessed it, I am back in Scotland and it is actually hammering it down. We have got yellow weather warnings of rain and wind today and I've never seen it like this before. The rain is just hammering it down, there's flooding, it's just constant. I've been up here in the Highlands for about a week. It's been magical despite the weather, it's just been constantly raining. I know you can't expect much but Usually it is a bit just more like cold blue skies and really, really cold or snowy. So yeah, join me for my first proper night in the landy in Scotland. Despite the absolutely crappy weather, I am so buzzing to be starting another adventure. First off, I did a big food shop before making my way north in this very rainy weather. So all the signs had yellow weather warnings just coming out of Fort William and I cannot believe the rivers and the locks are so so flooded it is absolutely insane and even hitting some of these puddles you can feel it at speed so I'm just slowing down a little bit because this is crazy the rivers are seriously in spate right so I've just got another warning sign and there's been a landslide really close to here near one of the roads. I didn't quite catch it to see if the road I'm taking, but that isn't good. That really isn't good. It just shows you the severe weather we're having to have a landslide. So hopefully uh, no one was involved in that or got affected by that. I've just got to my park up where I'm going to stay tonight and it's really really lovely it's in this lovely little forest and it's not bothering anyone I've also got to tell you that I don't have a roof tent anymore so I was really really looking forward to bringing my roof tent to Scotland and camping in that and doing some really cool camp outs and just because I love it it's like a separate space to the inside of the landy so I usually use a lot of downstairs for just cooking and storage and occasionally if I need to use the bed in the back I just I don't have it anymore I had a lot of dramas with it leaking and things like that and I just thought if I bought it to Scotland in this weather I I'd have been ruined so I don't have it anymore and I'll be sleeping inside for the for this trip which is a bit of a disappointment but it is what it is I'd rather be dry and warm I'm super chilled though, super, super chilled. I think it's the heat in here, considering it's cold. I looked at the weather and it's gonna be like this all day. And driving some of them bits was so gnarly. It was really sketchy just because you're driving along and you need to hold the steering wheel with two hands because when all the water comes up, you can't see anything and it sort of gets your wheels a little bit. And obviously got told to stop by these maintenance guys. I don't know if it's because the landslide or whatever but you can see how the landslides are happening there's just so much water coming down and there was loads of mud and dirt that's been washed down on the hillsides this was also a perfect test because this piece up here 
in the uh, windscreen used to leak really bad so what happened just now and the rain we've had this would be splurting through and leaking everywhere so that just got sealed up and it's fine now which is a good check i know in the back there won't be because i don't have any um what do you call them sunroofs i never got sunroofs of mine that's why i really liked the idea of percy he had springs instead of air suspension and he had no sunroofs and that was a big selling point for me the rain indeed continued but i made the most of this beautiful setting by going for a short walk and then return into the cosy interior of Percy. I'm now in the back of the landy. I've just been sorting out. I've been sorting out the food and my clothing. So I washed a bunch of clothing yesterday. Last night I stayed at an Airbnb and um, just because everything I have has just got soaked because of the rain and everything's a bit damp and a bit smelly. I've, this is my second week in Scotland. So before heading off on the trip I'm about to do, which is the North Coast 500, which is super exciting, I thought I'd treat myself to an Airbnb just to sort, wash clothes, shower, pack everything out and just organise it so everything's organised and clean. Yeah, I'm going to be doing the North Coast 500 which is really epic, it's a route that I've wanted to do for quite some time. Not the whole route in itself, I'm going to deviate and go a lot on my own way on a lot of it, but as a structure of how it goes, it will be following the north coast around Scotland. This will be a 500 mile plus route and it's going to be amazing and I can't wait and I'll be setting off on that in the next few days. So having done the resupply, got fuel, washed my clothes, everything like that, I'm all set and prepped to go. Obviously it's a shame I don't have the roof tent like I mentioned earlier and there's other bits and bobs that I am missing from the build, but I wanted to really do this trip. I think it's a great time of year to go and do it. Obviously I wasn't expecting loads of rain, I was expecting blue skies and snow. Um, but it's a quiet time of year, there's no midges, so there is a lot of positives exciting time of year there's so many trips i want to do and i thought i'd get away come to scotland to have some headspace during this crazy time of year i feel like the start of the year is definitely a time to reflect and sort of reflect on the previous 2023 and also look forward to 2024 and the stuff that's coming up throughout this year just a bit of headspace i think and reevaluating things and taking the build that I've got currently and uh, testing it, testing it out fully. I've got new awnings on if you've noticed and I'm just going to be testing out the setup. There's still some dramas with Percy, There's that's not completely been fixed, it's just been left on the case of you'll know what the problem is when it actually conks or dies or something like that, which is a little worrying. I do have a breakdown cover that will tow me anywhere in the country so if it does come to it and I completely break down then I do have that as a backup but other than that it got me back from Sweden with these slight problems and that was 2000 plus miles so I didn't think it would be too bad to bring him up to Scotland and test him out here. I've just been looking at the North Coast 500 book having a look at some of the stuff I want to do as well as catching up on some work bits and, uh, and then I'll probably cook dinner in a bit. But it's just starting to go dark. The rain is still pretty heavy. So the flooding tomorrow is gonna be mental. But the past few weeks have been lovely. I haven't put a video on and I feel like I've been very, very inconsistent since I got back from Sweden, really. Videos have been slowing up for sure and that's definitely something that I need to up my game with having cool trips dialed in and planned and adventures that you're really looking forward to or projects that you're passionate about definitely helps promote and encourage filming because it's something really cool to show. When my life isn't entertaining and it's more about prepping for stuff and planning and sorting, that's not the times I feel motivated and passionate to film. There's a quote that's been spinning around my head recently. Comparison is a thief of joy.
With the whole world at your fingertips, seeing the best highlights of people's lives is sometimes dangerous. Coming away on these adventures do so much for me. Connecting with the outdoors really fills me with immense happiness and contentment, bringing me back to reality almost. Just me and my truck, somewhere in the highlands during a heavy rainfall. Life is about the simple things and I take so much for granted. While that's cooking, I've just opened one of the windows in the front. I've got wind deflectors on, so none of the rain's coming in, but I just need a bit of ventilation in here. Obviously, it's such a small space. Right, but also I was looking at the landslide today because I just wanted to see what happened exactly. So, six hours ago, it says rail closure as flooded and landslides hit west. Flooding is disrupted, train services and road travel as heavy rain hits in off Scotland. Bloody blah, blah, cancellations. The A82 has been shut north of Drummond. I don't even want to pronounce that, I'm going to butcher that, that name. Due to mud and other debris being washed across the carriageway. That must be the landslide, they say. Oh my god, I just looked at the photo. If you can see that, that is the road. And that's obviously the flooding that's gone on. That is crazy. And these are the uh, the railway tracks. So it just shows you how much rain we've had. And waterfalls have just gone like that. This is the stuff I was sort of passing on the way here. And I couldn't believe it. This is crazy. And this has obviously been going on for a few days, these flood warnings. That's obviously... So much on it which i'm shocked about i just thought i'd search it up just to see if there was anything on it but there is quite a bit on it <laughs> right dinner is served for heaters i'm just getting ready for bed and i'm thinking i'm on like the limits of getting cabin fever just, it was a long time to spend in the landy today. It's obviously a small space and I'm used to being outside a lot. And it was just, I don't know, it was a long old day inside. I needed to get work bits done, but it's a challenge to spend so much time in a small space. I'm currently in the Fort Augustus area and I'm thinking of heading over to the Cairngorms, so it's like an hour drive from here, but I thought that would be a really lovely trip over there. I haven't done much in the Cairngorms. I'd like to do a, bit, a little bit more, so I think I may, may head over there. There's like a gravel track over that way that looks really cool that you can go down. slept like a dream. I slept so well as always in here. Super cozy, really chilled out yesterday. I obviously had a bit of itchy feet, a bit of cabin fever for being in here for so long but I think the weather is clearing today which is really exciting and I'm really looking forward to that. I've just started the morning with this it's something I've just bought recently. It's like a um, ginger shot, apple cider ginger shot. So pretty healthy <laughs> I feel like in here it's hard to keep healthy especially like days like yesterday when you're not moving often so I just want to keep my immune system up by having like things like ginger manuka honey drinking lots of water eating sort of healthy and just being healthy this time of year obviously when March rolls around and it's perfect birch sapping season I cannot wait to do that because you just feel your immune system go like that Especially this time of year, I just like to be healthy. Since I got back from Sweden and the end of last year, I was just so ill, like constantly ill. And I don't know if it was because my year was quite full on and there was a lot of trips, a lot of traveling, quite a bit of stress and it caught up with me. Or it was just the time of year, I don't know. I've got my morning coffee, that's a priority. It might not be the healthiest, but 
is a priority. I'm gonna have a tidy up in here. There's a lot of condensation, like you can probably see it. There's so much condensation on the windows, every window in here. So I want to strip all these sort of blinds off. These are really ace, they're like carpet and um, reflective. I've put the reflective inside just so it's a little bit more stealth in a way. Um, it keeps the heating and it just looks better because on the outside it just looks like I'm in a tin foil bundle. Um, so that's what I've done. But I'm going to strip these all off and really put the, the heat on when I start driving so it really gets rid of all the damp and the condensation so nothing goes mouldy or anything like that. I feel like when I get back from this trip it's going to be like a solid sort of month really focusing on the build so a roof tent getting a rear getting a table on the rear door and trying to get the issues and mechanical issues solved with Percy recently the injector seals have been done on Percy uh, a lovely mate of mine who is a Land Rover specialist did that for me as he thought that must be the problem and I was like, oh my god, it's driving amazingly. Uh, Percy had a service before coming here. Everything's been serviced. And the injector seals were done. And then he was driving so well. He was driving amazingly. And I thought, oh my god, the problem's fixed. I can't believe it. And I was so happy. And then recently it's come back again. Which is really annoying. Sunny. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. Look at the sun. <laughs> oh, I can't tell you how good it feels to be sunny. You see where I parked last night? It's obviously surrounded in this lovely woodland. And you can see why I didn't really want to set my awning up because we're on tarmac like hardcore um so you couldn't really peg it in last night oh my god i'm so happy it's not raining <laughs> this is amazing i have not seen blue skies for over 10 days that i've been in scotland So I've now washed up, I've tidied up, I've swept the floor, so I thought as it's quite tidy in here now and everything's sort of put away, which was perfect, now it's dry, I could just sort the whole back out. I thought I'd show you a little bit of inside of the, just the back of the truck of what I'll be staying in for the next few weeks and yeah what my space is to utilize now I don't have the roof tent. I will at some point do a sort of truck tour once I have everything put together nicely so once I'm sort of happy with the interior build but also have a roof tent again and show you through my process of getting decent kit. As you can see I've got a bed and this is really comfortable it's a four inch thick foam and I've got these pillows and they're each filled up with my sleeping bag that's filled with a dry robe sleeping bag and some jackets and then a wool blanket there so it makes it really comfortable and cozy um, and a good storage unit for all of my clothing so under the bed I've got more storage I've got clothing I've got my diesel heater I've got my battery and like hiking poles ice axe fishing rod that sort of thing this side I've got a lifesaver so I can get my water from a lot of water sources. I've got my cook station which is just a two hob burner. My washing bowl for doing my washing up. This is my power source, the Jackery 1000 and that charges my MacBook, my cameras, 
my lighting, just pretty much everything, so it's awesome. And obviously next to it you can see I've got some of my electronics out as well as up in that little corner I've just kept spare leads and under the bed there's also other electrics. Down here is a little bit messy but this is all my cutlery, food, coffee, tins, jars, uh, knives and forks, wash kit, kettle. So yeah that is the inside of Percy and I've got a lot of storage under the bed now that's been a lifesaver blocking that in and ha using that it sort of flaps up as you can see sorry my <laughs> street is really staying from like sitting down on it with muddy clothes and food and then I've got these blinds on all four windows to block out and make it a bit more private and I've also got the curtains at the front and the rear so it's completely black out so yeah that's a rough sort of tour of the back I also have an Altego cooking stove that's wedged in the back there that I can cook on and have a fire with in this corner there's loads of spares and repairs so fuses coolant engine oil power steering all of that sort of stuff just to <laughs> look after Percy and his health pretty decent living space especially when these awnings out I've got the direct 4x4 expedition awnings both the rear one and the side so once they're out it offers a lot more storage space and room and then the front seat is typically more storage for like my backpacks and stuff when I'm in the back and then I just swap them around and I'm gonna head over to the Kengorms. Packed up, left no trace. It's all pretty tidy in the back. I've got things drying up there as you can see and all the condensation is finally cleared. I've took all the blinds off the windows just to give it a real dry in here so nothing's damp. But yeah, I'm so excited, so, so, so excited to set off now and the weather is still beautiful. So it's such a relief. In next week's video I will be in the Cairngorms and I had such a beautiful time there. It was a lovely few days overlanding around the Cairngorms and even getting a drop of snow. Thank you so so much for watching this video. If you haven't already press subscribe and also thank you to all my patrons for making this possible. You guys mean a lot. Take care and I will see you in next week's video.